Here is a view of a Davis Mark III where the alignment is correct. Now, I'm filming this with a camera, and I can almost simulate parallax. You see, what I want to show here is that this, this alignment with zero with that tick mark corresponds to this alignment here. Whoops. Uh, zero on the index mark, and you see they, uh, they line up there. But you see parallax means if I come over here and look at this angle, you see I'm way off to the side with my head, or in fact this with a camera, or I'm way off to my head here, and you see that parallax of kind of like making that bend. But this one is a good one. If I look straight in there, they are lined up. And that means when I turn this, you'll see you'll see it move, you see over here. You see that that's, now let's see, okay. See there's 20 minutes, that's like a third of the way into that angle. And then here's back to zero right here. And here's off the scale, you see it's very nice. It's all working on this plastic sextant and looks really good. Now, but this is a double check that you have to make. Here, for example, is a different model. And this one, see here we have it set up to zero, but when you look at this, this one, you're going to see that that is actually notably off. In other words, I have to go, if I want to get that to zero, I have to come up, now again, I have to be careful with the parallax, but, you know, something like nine minutes, eight or nine minutes is right on. Whereas here you see zero it's awful. It's off like that. Now, this is actually right on the edge of perfectly usable or, you know, beyond uh, beyond the edge. I mean, this one's perfectly usable, but it just means that when you're up here at any other kind of particular angle, you put this right on here like this, you think it's right exactly lined up, and then you look over here and you see there's 10 minutes on it. Whereas if it's right on it, it should have been here. So it's a little better. Like I say, you wouldn't, you could navigate around the world no problem with this, especially once you're used to it and you knew about that. But if you're starting from scratch and you're choosing one of these off a shelf, you know, with four or five to choose from, then you're better off finding one that lines up. And that's why we here at Starpath, we always, we always check these very carefully and we don't ship them out the door if they're off. Like this is off more than we would, would ship out the door here, this ten, nine or ten minutes here. And and Davis is very good about it. I'm, every once in a while some slip through. Normally they have these checked and they're spot on. But And if they are off a little bit, if they are off a notable amount, they'll fix them. I mean, they'll replace them for us before we ship them out here.